So my California desert tortoise eggs are hatching. There's the baby right there. And then you can see that the eggs are like a ping pong shape, except for this one here. So doing some research, we found out that one of my tortoises is a Texas tortoise. And I was wondering what kind she was for a long time, because she never grows any bigger than, she's about eight inches. So I saw her lay this egg, and as you can see, it is hatching too. So we're going to go out in the yard and see who the mama and the daddy is. Okay, so this here is what we just realized is a Texas tortoise. Uh, she was adopted, but I didn't know what kind of tortoise she was until just recently. And then these are my two male desert tortoises. So you can see the size difference in all of them. And somehow, they've crossbred, and she's actually had a viable egg. And as you can see, she looks a lot different than them. So she is a Texas tortoise. And one of these boys here is the daddy. So we've had a crossbreeding of two different types of tortoises, California desert and Texas tortoise. So this here is my female desert tortoise. And she's the one that had all of the viable desert eggs. So she typically has between seven to eight eggs every season and so far we have five that are hatching currently and then the Texas tortoise says they have about two to three per clutch and I actually saw her laying the egg but she only had one so there could be another clutch somewhere else that I'm not aware of but from what I saw she only had the one egg this season so these uh, tortoises are in the same genus, but they have a different species. So um, although they were able to have successful egg hatching, more than likely the egg will be sterile or the baby will be sterile, won't be able to lay or have any eggs of its own that are viable. So um, there is occasions where they said that if it is a female, it's possible that the female could lay viable eggs, but if it's a male, more than likely the male will be sterile. So it's kind of where we are.